now i will show you how to shift between the php versions in mem so in order to do that first i am going to my application and in my application there is a mem folder and here you will see that in the bin there is a php folder if i go there you will see that here are multiple php versions so PHP 5.4, 5.6, 7.3, 7.4, 8.1, 8.2. .8 if I open the mem control panel, you will see that here only there are two versions showing. I am going to show you a comparison chart that is given by the mem website. In their official website, you will see that there is a difference between mem pro and mem. As I am using the free version, not the pro version, I am using the free version. You see that the total number of PSP versions here are two. So when I am going to open the MEM control panel as I am using the MEM normal version. So here you will see that here are only, only 7.4 and 8.2. But if I want that, I will have the two versions that is MEM a of php 8.1 and 8.2 what how i can do that here you see that 7.4 and 8.2 but for example i run all my applications in 8 php 8.1 some some of my applications are in php 8.1 and some are some of my applications are running in php 8.2 so in this case how i can shift between the php versions because here there is no 8.1 here is 7.4 version that is an old version so in order to do that just go to the folder that i have shown you where you have to go and here you will see that all the versions here are showing so active versions are this one and this one and now what i will do i will just rename the folder for example the folder that is not needed by me i just give an underscore in the beginning so i do not also need the php 5.6 also i do not need php 7.3 and here i need 8.1 not 7.4 so as on you as you know that only two versions will be activated so what i will do i will make this 7.4 also an underscore in the beginning so here only two are normal folders here 8.1.13 and 8.2.0 so as i put underscore in the beginning of all of all the php folder so those will automatically be deactivated so the total active versions are two that is php 8.1 and 8.2 now what i am going to do i am going to close this one i am going to close the mem quit and then again restart it okay now if you see you will see that here is php 8.1 and 8.2 if it is running how i can test i am going to my ht docs so in order to check it i am going to ht docs in my test folder i am going to create a new file here okay so for example php info file i will create here so i am going to select this folder where i will create file right button click here and then new terminal at folder so you see that the test folder is selected and from here what i will do i will just create a file so task is the command to create a file in the mac operating system here so i use here the task then a space and then i create php info.php for example a file so you see php info.php comes here now i am going to my visual studio code you will see that in the test folder php info.php this one comes now here in order to check the php version i will call the built-in php info function so this is the built-in function and now i will just run this so here if i refresh and here php info.php run here it is actually into the test folder so test php info.php you see that the current version that is running that is php version 8.2.0 so now i am going to the map and now i am going to change the php version 
when i will change it you will see that automatically the service is stopped and going to be started but for the php 8.1 i will also have to set up the port that i did for the php 8.2 so here just like before i can make like this okay now it should work so let's now try it but it the service will have to be started so i am going to stop it and then restart the service okay now if i uh, refresh it you'll see that the current version is now php 8.1.13 that means all the applications that you use and run php 8.1 you can run those applications here now and if you want to run the applications that is supported by php 8.2 in order to run those applications you will have to go again here and just shift here then stop and then just click on start again then you just refresh you will see that this is now ready to run the applications that is running in the php 8.2 if for any case for any time you need to run the php 7.4 again just again go to the bin then php then make the folder name from this to uh, remove the underscore just and then it will be activated and in that case you just make an underscore before this folder that means underscore php 8.1.13 then this will be activated and this will be deactivated so this is very easy process in map i hope you have understood the video very well